to Wells Fargo Arena. Day two is officially a wrap. We have the 84 wrestlers who will be battling for a championship tomorrow night. Let's show you all the semifinal action from earlier today. We start the night at 106 pounds. Waukee's Carter Freeman going up against Fort Dodge's Drew Ayala. It was tied late in the third, but Freeman lands a shot, gets the takedown. He'll be the favorite in tomorrow's finals. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty big thing, especially as a freshman. It's a fun experience. 126 pounds, Waukee's Thurman Christensen with a two-point takedown on his way to a 6-2 decision. 132 pounds, Drake Ayala trying to get to the title match against Ryder Block. Ayala dominates Bryce Parkey with a 22-8 major. 145 pounds, Joel Jessaroga of Southeast Polk taking care of business in the semis. There's a two-point takedown. He gets a 7-3 decision. Caleb Rachi of Ankeny at 152 pounds. He's in the hunt for another title after getting a 12-3 major decision over Carson Martinson of Southeast Polk. 170 pounds, Mickey Griffith back in the championship match. Lands two there. He wins by an 8-4 decision for the Lincoln Rail Splitters. Up to 182 pounds we go. Griffin Gamble with a pin in the first period. A step further than a year ago. He's ready for Saturday's final. It's just super freeing, you know. I mean, I guess this whole week's been freeing. I know last year was always, always really, really stressed, really nervous. This year it's been the complete opposite. I'm relaxed, I'm having fun, you know. The, the process is what I enjoy, not the result. Uh, I'm going to go out tomorrow, give it my all, you know. If I die, I die. Let's bounce over to class two way. 120 pounds, Green County's McKinley Robbins with a takedown in the third, goes on to win 4 2, and he is back in the finals for the second straight year as a sophomore. I love the feeling of, of making it to the finals two years in a row. And uh, I only plan on making it two more, obviously, because I want to win three titles. I fell up a little short last year, so that gave me a lot of extra motivation coming into this year. 126 pounds, Dominic Ritt out of East Marshall with a two-point takedown. He would eventually get the pin. He'll get a shot at the state crown as well. 138 pounds, Nate Ginabana with two points there. He would need an 8-4 decision, and he is a four-time finalist chasing his first state title. His teammate at 145 pounds, Matthew Lewis, gets a second period escape, holds on in the third to win 3-2. Lewis trying to become Centerville's second four-time champ. He says he'll rest easy tonight. I'm embarrassing it. It's, uh, it's going to be a part of my run, so um, just I can't wait till tomorrow. So. What do you got to do to win number four? Uh, put the right things in my body tonight and uh, get my head straight. Um, just make sure I'm feeling good for tomorrow and review a few matches and stuff and then just... Oh, show up for a fight. Then in Class 1A, the lone qualifier out of Central Iowa, South Central Calhoun's Blake McAllister. Down one nothing in the third period, comes up with a late reversal. He does go on to win his match, and he will be in the finals on Saturday night. Grand March gets going 6 p.m. here at Wells Fargo Arena. Then we get to the matches right after that. Looking forward to a fun-filled night on Saturday here inside the well. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.